Hey guys, it's Jenny here. We're out in Southern Lone Oak County. I got my buddy Colin Torian with me. Colin, uh, what are you gonna teach me today? So today we're out here harvesting rice and I'm gonna show you how to operate a combine. Sick, so uh, by the way, how much do these combines usually cost around the ballpark? Um, we're looking at about a half a million a machine right now. Sick. A lot of trust. A lot of trust. <laughs> trust me more than my own family trusts me. I'm fairly positive, but okay, cool. All right, well, let's go do it. Sounds good. <laughs> Perfect. It's actually surprisingly nice because there's like air conditioning. Oh, it's so nice. <laughs> Instead of I mean, it's like, ridiculously nice. Yeah. Nearly everything that we need to have done to this machine, even while we're harvesting, uh -huh. we can do right here from the uh, seat. Is it always beeping at you like that? No. All right, so what we'll do over here is we'll throw this thing in gear. So okay. we'll turn on the rotor, which is actually what's gonna thrash the rice. Uh -huh. As you can see, the fountain auger is starting to come in. We're starting to put a little bit of rice that's probably in the belly of this machine. Yeah. And then we'll crank up the feeder and the header. Okay. And then you just use your hydrostat. When you go over a levee, you're sitting here and you're adjusting the header the whole time. So uh -huh. like you've got a joystick. It's kind of like a big video game with a yeah. lot of like really real consequences. So how can you tell when you're like, I mean, I guess when you're like dipping down and coming back up, like when you need to adjust it or should it, the header stay fairly? So what we're looking for is down here behind the header. We're uh -huh. trying to make sure that we're not leaving any rice heads. Uh -huh. Um, and as long as you're clean there, you know that you've got your header where it needs to be. Uh -huh. And uh, as long as you're feeding really smooth and the volume looks good on both sides and the flow's pretty even, uh -huh. you know that you're in good shape and your ground speed is really good. So what was that just there when we were like kind of going up and... That was the first of many levees that we're going to oh, go over. Sick. See, this thing's feeding through right now. Uh -huh. So here's your technology screen right now. Kind of lets you know what rice you're in, your uh -huh. yield monitor. Uh, it's up around 192, 184 bushel. Uh, your moisture machine, which is really, uh, or your moisture monitor, which is really important. Uh -huh. um, because what we do with rice, we have to make sure that it's a certain moisture uh, so that we're not, you know, putting the mill in a bad spot by bringing them too wet of rice or anything like that. So the technology that, you know, goes into monitoring this grain uh -huh. while we're actually cutting it is really big for us and the people that will receive this rice once we take it to them. Got you. So I map a lot of this stuff out. So like when I come out here and I plant it, you know, drilling rice is a little bit different, but the recording software that you have in your machine, like you can go back and look at these digital maps and point to an area where you think you might have had a problem uh -huh. and be like, hey, you know, we need to go out there and pull some soil samples. We need to try to fix this. Like there may be, you know, something that we're overlooking here according to the information that this machine is willing to give us. What he's doing is he's waiting on this machine to actually signal to him, you know, how full it is. I have flashers on the outside of this thing. So when it's three, four full, my my lights are gonna start going off. When I'm full, my lights will constantly be going off. Okay, and he just and he looks pulls up that. beside me and I unload onto him and uh, and he takes it out of the field, loads the truck and gets going. You wanna drive this sucker? Oh, get no Say we're we're to your spot. You get to All make right. your combine debut. I'm gonna let you uh, set it up. Always watch for the grain car guy. I was about to say, am I gonna have to unload the him while I'm going? If you want to. I, I kind of don't. I'm kind of nervous about that. I'm not gonna. Make I don't do want to watch just money fly across the field as I. <laughs> it's like mowing a yard, except you're eating all the grass. Yeah. All right. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna back up. Forward in bed. Is that not? A, is that a break? <laughs> yes. You won't have to worry about your break. But yeah, that's your break. So like, if you yeah, if you ever have an issue, just pull this thing right back to the center. And okay. Because this is stop position. This is yes. this is a good place to be. Okay. All right. Sure. Four wheel Let's... drive and everything's already good. All right. Cool. So, what is that noise? That was letting me know that I, uh, we got out of the seat. You want me All to right. hold that? Yep. You're gonna hold that. Okay. I don't know how we're. Gonna... Good luck to me. All right, cool. So right now I'm sitting here and I 
Hit that lever right there. This pull, one? Yeah, pull that thing down towards you. Okay. All right, All right cool. And I'm going to do this first. Yes. Push it forward. Pick, no, no, no. Pick it up and push it forward. There you That's go. All right, now start idling up the machine. Halfway? Slowly. All right, give it a little more juice. All right, go ahead and push it all the way forward. All the way, there you go. Now your feeder, which will be the yeah the lever next to that. That goes pick forward. Pick it up and press it forward. Yep. Now all you got to do is cut rice. But do I need to push this thing down? Yes. <laughs> like, so which yeah, one? Right here. This guy. Yeah, yeah. It needs to go down. No, no, no. The controls are opposite. So oh. up is down and down is up. It's not going to do anything. Oh, it is. There you go. Do I need to go down further? Yes. Yep. Yeah, you, you can see where your level needs to be because of where the other rice is cut. All right, you're, too, you're down too far. Pick up a little bit. Okay, go down a little more. <laughs> right there. Perfect. <laughs> no, you're good. All right, this is an opposite though, right? Okay. That joystick is kind of sensitive, so like a little bit goes a long way. I'm probably going 0.5 miles an hour. No, you're, you hit the one mile an hour mark. Oh, did I? Oh, yeah, you're Sick. good trailblazing. <laughs> Am I like? Okay, yeah. Can can you see the edge? Yeah, over I can there? see the edge. All right. But do I need to get close? Mm. No, no. You're doing good. You got a full header right now. Okay. That's what that's what matters when you're cutting rice is making sure you keep your header full. Because like it doesn't matter about going in a straight line or anything like that. Oh really? It so it's just pretty. making sure that like yeah. everything. Just keep yeah. Keep across your Across for me. Yes. Is... Keep your header full. Gotcha. Keep your header full. I think, like, I could turn this around and get a shot of the header if you want me to. It's fun, but no, it's no, crazy. Kind of, kind of nerve wracking? It's kind of nerve wracking because, like, what's interesting right now, I'm afraid to go faster than this, pretty much at this point. Right, yeah, no, but, I mean, so, and that's what the crazy thing is about, uh, about, like, operating farm equipment. A mile yeah. an hour is a big deal. Yeah. Uh, you go from cutting from one mile an hour to two mile an hour, it, you know, it feels like you're setting a new ground speed record. Um, <laughs> and then you get up to three mile an hour, and, and even over that, you're just kind of like, wow, everything's happening so fast, what's going on? And you look over there, and you're like, I'm going three miles an hour. <laughs> yeah. But, so you can see your uh, di your digital speedometer over there. You know what's crazy is I'm very scared it looks to the right of me. <laughs> okay, all right, so, no. So you are you are going to unload. I'm going to make you unload. <gasps> but, all right, stop right here. Wait, just pull, like, pull back on the joy, joystick. Uh-huh. Yep. And put it in that. Yes. Yes. Okay. Now, go ahead and pick your header up. So we'll, we'll do this number here. And then hit this button right there. This guy? Yeah, just, just tap once? it. Yes, just hit it. All right, now watch right here. Does this guy know that I'm the yeah. one that's doing this right See now? See the auger coming out? <laughs> He's going to be like, what the shit? I'm just gonna go ahead and say I'm so sorry. Well, he, probably, he probably, think, yeah, he probably thinks there's a problem, but it's all good. There's no problem. We're just full of rice, man. I'm so sorry, dude. It's me. So do I? Do I do okay, it? Now, okay. Now you're gonna hit the yellow button. Okay. Yep. And then I need to go forward while doing this, or no? I mean, no. Do I mean, I? if you want to level up, you know. I'm afraid to level up. Yeah, okay, because I was going to say, right now you're, so he'll just right go now you're a really solid level me? one. No, no, no. Like, if you were to keep cutting rice, uh, do you, I need you, know, to go you, backwards? you do this on the go. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Go backwards a little bit because you're going to you're gonna spread that out. All right, stop. Am I going forward right now? You just want to level that off. All right, so start creeping backwards again. Do I stop here? Yep. So you just want to pile it up and kind of keep it high center. That way it's not all over the car. Now I go back? No, wait until it piles up a little bit. Cause you okay. gotta think, you got a lot of you got a lot of room on those edges too. Yeah. Nah. Alright, come back a little bit. Oh, looks like you're almost out. Alright, so go ahead and hit your yellow button again. This guy? Yes. Alright. You're full. And now I gotta bring it back in? This yeah. guy? Now you hit that button and it, yeah, it turns and comes back in. Thank you. Appreciate your patience. Thanks, Gary. You're the man. Okay, but now I need to get this guy down. Yes. So I do the opposite. Yep. Do the so opposite. So press up to bring it down. It's like flight controls. Yeah, no one trusts me to fly a plane, so. <laughs> so a little more. Right there. There you go. So what are you looking at to know where you were at the top of the straw? That's what you just said. I just, right? do, it, I just do it as I'm moving. Yeah. Just. Smooth operator syndrome, I guess. Yeah. <laughs> There's no All right, there. so 
You see how the, you see how, you see how the rise kind of like sticks up right there? Yeah, I have no idea what happened there. Um, now you're actually straddling a levee. Okay. So this is like some, uh, like you're, you're almost a level two here. I mean, you're getting after it now. You're cutting, you're, 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 you're harvesting rice. You're on top of a levee, man. And you're not just on top of a levee. You're straddling this thing. You're going down here and handling business. This does not sound like a good idea, but Oh, I man, trust you're you. doing it. You're doing great. Yeah. And then you'll be done with that levee. Okay. You've uh, successfully cut your first rice levee. Woohoo! I should probably not take my hand off the joystick. Yeah. Stick? I don't know. Well, I just drove a combine. Didn't wreck anything, right? Mastered the art of driving a combine. Did I did I lose us any money whatsoever? No, no we're good. Then I call that a success. Yes. Awesome, Wilcon. Thank you so much for having me out. Uh, if you want to hear more about rice harvest, check out our website, ARFB.com. Sweet. See y'all.